Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Sapphire, and I dabble in a bit of cute, cozy gaming content, and I'm so happy to have you here today. Like many Animal Crossing players, I've been really into Happy Home Paradise, the DLC for Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's honestly opened my eyes to interior design, and so I wanted to try decorating my own house which has been a little <laughs> neglected. What gave it away? Was it the smushed flowers or the out of season wreath? So before we start, I'll do a little house tour to show y'all what we're working with. And uh, <laughs> yeah, my house is a little messy. I kind of just stuck random furniture here <laughs> for no reason at all. I, I have the bells out and I have the weird two couches. Don't, don't look at that, it's okay. And instead, we are decorating the back room, which has a cockroach. It's not a good sign, but you know what? We'll persevere. So actually on the agenda today, we are decorating my IRL gaming room in Animal Crossing today. I am super excited. I've already gathered up most of the items that I wanted to use. So I'm feeling pretty confident that this will be a very smooth build. Starting off with the wallpaper and flooring, uh, the carpet we have in our current office is a pretty standard gray rug, but unfortunately Animal Crossing does not have a floor pattern that is just plain gray or beige. So I ended up going for the concrete flooring, uh, even though the name is kind of odd, since it looked pretty close to our actual rug color. And moving on to the fun stuff now, I decided to start off with my side of the room which is mostly a pink and white theme. So I modeled my setup after the adorable 2.0 gaming items. Honestly, the chair in Animal Crossing looks just like my IRL gaming chair. I also have a pink magic circle rug that looks pretty spot on to this in-game item. For those wondering, when I bought my chair, the Autoful Esports gaming chair, uh, this rug just came with it, so for those who are wondering, that's how I got it. In my actual gaming office, I have these two white shelves that I have set up with some adorable items, um, lots of plushies, some figurines. So I made sure to use the dreamy wall shelves um, with the adorable plushies that look sort of like mine in real life in this build. I did take a few liberties here and there with my build. Um, I don't actually own a My Melody wall clock, although how sweet would it be to have one in real life? I mean, come on. And moving out of furniture, I have a five tier white rolling shelf that I use to store things like my games, uh, notebooks, and equipment. And so the simple small dresser was a pretty close match. It has those silver knobs, it has the tiers. Um, so I thought it was a pretty good fit now I'm taking a break from working on my side of the room and instead focusing on my boyfriend's side. And in very stark contrast, he has pretty much an all black setup, a black TV, a black console table, his guitar is black. Um, so it's pretty stark difference from my side of the room, which is super girly, super pink and white. But luckily Animal Crossing's 2.0 update came with this really neat, cool furniture setup and this console table matches pretty closely to my boyfriend's current console table which has his Xbox and PlayStation. And just like with my setup, my boyfriend too has his own shelf full of figures and collectibles. But on this note, I totally wish Animal Crossing had floating shelves as an item in the game. I'm not really sure why they haven't added this yet, but who knows? It could be a future update item. But with the lack of wall shelving, I felt kind of limited in what I could actually work with for his side of the room. So I chose gyroids. <laughs> And I thought this was pretty creative, you know? Every gyroid has its own little design, a cute little face. So I, I just thought it was a pretty good match for what I was trying to do. And also totally a side note, but doesn't the Thwopoid kind of look like a blobfish from Stardew Valley? <laughs> or is it just me? 
At this point, I was getting ready to start working on some more wall decor, and so I ordered a bunch of items from the Happy Home Paradise catalog as well as the New Horizons catalog. And so for this part, I am just downloading some custom designs to use in my actual posters on the walls. And so for my boyfriend's side, I gave him a Naruto and Demon Slayer poster, and for my side, a Sailor Moon and a My Melody poster. Like always, I'll be sure to link in the description box any custom codes that I use in this design. On my side, I ended up kind of running into a bit of trouble because in real life, on the right hand side of my desk, I have string lights hung up, but there is no item like that in the game. And so I was trying to figure out where to actually put items. And so I opted to put the bulletin board, which represents my little wire hanging shelf area on the left hand side. And I moved the My Melody and Sailor Moon posters to the right hand side of the wall instead. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out because it ended up looking a little bit more accurate to how my desk actually is in real life. For this next part, I took a few trips to Harv's Island and the Happy Home Paradise Island um, to order a few items and to have some things customized. But it was here I found out that the bookshelf does not come in black and so that really threw me off for a loop. I totally thought this item came in black, but it does not. And so I had to settle for a dark brown color instead, which is fine. But my disappointment didn't stop there because when I tried to order the chair for my boyfriend's side of his room, I found out that it was a whopping 20,700 pokey. Are you kidding me, Wordle? What are these prices? I was a broke bitch, <laughs> so that was not gonna happen. Long story short, luckily I found someone on Nookazon to trade with and I got the item finally, <laughs> but it took a bit of work. I sat there on Nookazon waiting for someone to trade with me for like an hour and a half. It was a lot of effort, <laughs> but it ended up paying off. I also added in some scattered cords because everyone knows that every gamer boy in the world has a mess of cords under his desk or his setup. <laughs> and I also added in a bottle of soda, which my boyfriend often drinks from when he's playing games. So one of my favorite items in my office that happens to be included with the 2.0 items is the LED wall lights. And this is perfect for any kind of gamer setup. So I was so happy that Animal Crossing decided to include this item. However, <laughs> I did not buy enough. So your girl spent a lot of time <laughs> unboxing these wall lamps. But you know what? It's okay because look how pretty it looks. You know, all that effort, it paid off because it looked really good in the build. So that's the important part. At this point, I added the bookcase to my boyfriend's side of the room. And I also added in our diplomas from the college we went to. A neat little detail is these autograph cards above the door, which I think mirrors pretty closely to these little posters my boyfriend has over the door frame of Captain America, Batman, and Iron Man. Now, moving on to what I think is the best part of the office, or at least my favorite part, is my wall of plushies. I actually used a shoe rack for this. <laughs> so it's not actually a plushie shelf, but I had it converted and I used it for plushies instead of shoes because I love plushies so much. So once again, the dreamy shelves came in handy here. At this point, we're wrapping things up, and the last thing I did was change the lighting to this pink to match the LED lights. It creates a beautiful hue and adds so much atmosphere and life to the room. I was so happy when I added this to the 2.0 update. I think it just transforms any build and gives it so much character and personality. I mean, look how cool it looks with the glow of pink, you know? It just, it transforms the room totally. I 
gotta say, I think this build looks pretty scarily accurate to what our actual office slash game room looks like. I think a lot of the 2.0 items definitely helped out here. You know, we have all of the new furniture items, the gaming items, the wall shelves, definitely all adds to it. Not to mention the beautiful pink lighting, of course. So that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, again, my name is Sapphire. You can find me here on YouTube as well as Twitch where I live stream weekly. And I would love to know what you guys thought of the build today. So if you would like, feel free to leave me a comment down below and tell me your favorite part of the build. With that, I'm signing off. Have a great day or night. Stay hydrated and stay well. Bye everyone.